Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Psytech. In this video, let's discuss about all the tips and tricks and all the features related to the fingerprint scanner in the Realme GT Neo 3T device. Right now, as you can see, friends, this is a Realme GT Neo 3T device which I'm trying to use in this video. And let's do the initial setup of the fingerprint scanner. As well. So let's go to the option which is a uh, security and the password and click on the fingerprint. And now you need to set the pattern or the any numeric alphanumeric password as well before you set the fingerprint scanner. So once you've done that, let's do the fingerprint initial setup. So much time it actually takes. As you can see, friends, it's pretty fast as well, not bad. I can get very good haptic feedback as well when it, when I'm trying to register this finger. So it took kind of close to with 20 seconds of time to add the fingerprint. Nothing much huge time it has been taken. As you can see, the process is pretty fast and simple. And haptic feedback is really very strong while I'm trying to register this fingerprint and it's done. So inside the fingerprint scanner, you do get different kind of options regarding the animations. So these are the few animations where you can actually explore. So all the animations are completely similar to the previous animations. Nothing but huge difference I did notice regarding the animation type. So next thing is regarding the quick launch. You can actually access the quick launch by long pressing the fingerprint scanner. That's also possible. Actually long press. And that will take you to the options, different, different applications. You can actually access that directly from the lock screen so you can actually edit and you can actually keep your desired applications like battlegrounds mobile game or maybe whatsapp or any other applications so what you may think you use frequently that's kind of possible and overall the fingerprint can be used even for the private safe and app lock functionality also it can be actually used that's also another good advantage so right now let me do the quick fingerprint speed test unlock as you can see it's pretty fast and accurate not no issues with that I'll definitely compare with other smartphones regarding the speed test of unlocking as well. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. So until then, signing off friends. Thank you for watching. This is a quick initial setup and what are the features you can actually expect in the fingerprint scanner in the Realme GT Neo 3T. So everything is completely similar to the previous Realme phones. Nothing much has been added as well. Until then, stay tuned for more updates and signing off and bye.